ever wondered what it takes to build your smartphone? From drawing board to packaged box, from random chips and components to a fully functional device. It's a process folks and a complicated one at that. Over the past few years, smartphones have changed drastically. Looks, feel, usage, you name it. And the smartphones of today are nothing like their ancestors. And of course, every small change means a different software and different hardware. Today, we take you through the process of assembling a smartphone, the Carbon Aura Power 4G. But as the song says, let's start at the very beginning. So when you build, you begin with PQR. That's procuring the various chips and components, a quality check and racking the approved parts in a box or a kit. One for each smartphone. These kits then move on to the assembly line. Step 1. Building the main circuit. So you take a PCB or a printed circuit board and all the electronic components are soldered together on it. Each of these engineers on the assembly line are trained for a specific portion of the assembly process. This one works on LCD screens. This one on the ringers that make your device vibrate. Here, this gentleman is in charge of fixing the power button. Here's where the camera module is integrated onto the handset. And finally, this is how the battery is bunged in. Once assembly is complete, this model goes through multiple functional and durability tests. For instance, each smartphone is put through an RF signal test. Think of it like a simulator that generates artificial signals just like the signals from a SIM card. Then comes the final stage. Each handset is fed with an IMEI number before heading for packaging. And a brand new Aura Power 4G is ready to use, once you pay for it of course. Now just in case you're wondering, this plant in Bawal Haryana has 22 assembly lines and produces close to 55,000 smartphones in an 8-hour shift. That's a lot of smartphones. And also, that's it on this edition of Tech Toys. Till next time, ciao!